Welcome to part three in our voice flow mini series. So far, we've covered how to build a basic AI chatbot from scratch to capture our leads information. We then took that information and stored it in a Google Sheet, as well as sent them an automated follow-up email. In this tutorial, we're gonna cover how to post that chatbot on a live website so we can start using it in a production environment. So let's get into our voice float design view. Now, before we get into publishing our chatbot live, we're gonna add another workflow in Zapier. So let's come to Zapier. And what we're gonna be doing is adding an email that lets us know a lead has just entered their information. So we'll come down and we'll add a step to our existing workflow in Zapier. And we're gonna be sending an email. So you wanna to come to Gmail. In Gmail, we'll choose an event and we will send an email. And we'll click continue, continue. And we're just gonna be sending this to ourselves. So you can type in your email here. And you can skip CC, blind carbon copy, and you can go to the from and enter the same email where you want this to be delivered. Then we can enter the name of the lead that just came in as well as their email. So we'll come to catch a hook by webhooks and Zapier, and we will enter the name, enter down and we'll enter the email. This way it emails you the lead's name and email every time someone does it live. Then we'll come down to subject and we will say new lead captured. Like so. Skip over body type and we'll come to body and this is where we're going to enter the actual lead's information just so you can get a quick glance at it. So we'll enter the name and we will add the email as well. And then we'll set this up like we did in the previous tutorial, continue. And this is what's gonna get sent to your email. So we don't even have to test this step. It should go live without a test. So let's come back to our voice flow and let's get into publishing this chatbot live on our Bubble website. So the first thing you wanna do is come back up to publish. And this is where you're gonna give it a name. Now, once you do publish this to production, you can come back change anything you'd like and just enter a new name and the new version will be posted live on your site. So for us, we're just gonna do test one and we will publish that. It's publishing up here. So it successfully published our chat bot. Now we want to embed the widget. So this is what it's gonna look like on your Bubble website. Now you can see I've already changed the color a bit, but we'll go through the settings together. This is the script tag that you're gonna to wanna to copy for later, and this is what we're gonna add in Bubble. So we'll copy that for now. But we'll come down to the settings. So you can see you have the name, description, chat persistence. So we'll change the name to fit our specific use case. In our case, it's our development agency, WGMI Labs, like so. And then you can say whatever you want for the description. We'll say, welcome, what can we help you with? something like that, that fits your specific needs. Now, chat persistence, this means that if you close down the chatbot, their chat history gets saved. So I'm gonna leave this as never forget, but you could change it to forget after they do close it. Now for position, I'm gonna leave this as well. This is just the position on the screen and by default, it's gonna be on the bottom right corner. This is where most chatbots are, so most people look for that anyways. So we'll leave that like it is. Then you can come down to appearance, and this is where you're gonna change your color and your branding to fit your specific use case. So we'll go ahead and leave that how it is for now, but you're gonna to wanna to change this to fit yours. Now, go ahead and recopy this, and we'll head on over to Bubble. So if you're not familiar with Bubble, it is a no-code software application that allows you to build extremely robust projects with no coding at all. So this is one of our favorite tools to use. So let's get into the templates. Now, this is the template page. You can see everyone posts their templates here. There's 1,300 of them. So we're gonna select just this first one for our example. And we've already purchased this. So we'll go ahead and just purchase again. We'll create a name for the app. So we'll just call it voice flow test one. And we'll get started. Now it's gonna prompt you to sign up for a plan. Now, a lot of features on Bubble you are going to need a pro plan for. So keep that in mind when we're building this, but we'll start with the basic features for now. 
So now that we're in the interface to edit our template, we will go ahead and skip application assistant, but you may want to run through this if this is your first time using Bubble. So we're going to come up here to the pages drop down, and we're going to select home three. Now this might be different based on whatever template you're using, so bear that in mind. But for us, we'll use home three, and we will come over to these elements over here on the left side. Now you can see an element called HTML, and this is what we're going to use to integrate our script from VoiceFlow. So we'll come grab the HTML and you can put this anywhere on your website as that chatbot icon is gonna be on the bottom right by default anyways. So it doesn't matter where you place this because it will not show up. Now we'll take our script, paste it in here. And that is all you need to integrate into your application. So let's go ahead and preview this. And this is what it's gonna look like on your website when it's live. So you can see the chat right here and we'll go ahead and open that and just run through what we've built so far. So hi, welcome to WGMI Labs. What else can we help you with? Select AI Dev. Great, you're interested in AI Dev, is that correct? Yes. Okay, let's gather some information. We'll go ahead and say bubble test, just so we know where it came from. Thank you. What is your email? And we will write bubble test at gmail.com enter that we'll confirm it thank you for confirming your email would you like to book a call yes and this is where you'll get the option to book a call if not it will prompt you to ask some more questions so say we had another question this is where the ai jumps in with our knowledge base so how long will it take for my project to get delivered so we'll ask a question, see if it can give us a response based on the knowledge that we uploaded earlier. Great, gives us the delivery time. So that's awesome. Chat has ended and it is working exactly how we expected it to. So that's awesome, great. Now we can go and check our leads and see if that actually did come through. And it did, you can see bubble test and bubble test at gmail.com. Now, if you do get stuck, you can always reference VoiceFlow's documentation as I find it very helpful and very in depth so you can come here and you can go to the tab of launch to a new channel and then you'll see all the places you can launch to. Now this is more of the beginner friendly documentation. There also is developer documentation, which I think we're going to get into in future videos. You can see their documentation is quite helpful, gives you the examples of exactly everything you need to do and walks you through it step by step. So you can see over here that we did the website. Now there also is examples where you can launch to Discord, Slack, Unity, WhatsApp, Microsoft Teams, and more. And we're definitely gonna go over those in future videos as well. So for example, you can come to launching to a custom platform. And then you'll see their docs as it references the developer portal here. Now this is where it gets a little bit more advanced. So this is the developer documentation. And I highly encourage you to go check this out for yourself, even if you're not a developer is it gives you a broader understanding of all the third-party applications that VoiceFlow can integrate into, as well as functionalities that it's capable of. So we'll definitely be covering these in future videos, but for now, this is where we're gonna end our mini VoiceFlow series. You should now have a comprehensive knowledge of how VoiceFlow works end-to-end -end and hopefully see the possibilities of this application. In future videos, we'll cover the integration of Discord, Slack, WhatsApp, and more. So let me know down in the comments below what kind of tutorials you would like to see utilizing voice flow. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.